Hello, everybody, wherever you may be. My name is Larry. My call signs, Kilo 7, Hotel November. We're finally back with audio that sounds good again. Welcome to my shack here in Northwest Oregon. This is Ham Radio Live, show number 108. I'd like to ask you to please hit the subscribe button. Subscribe button helps people find us here on YouTube who have an interest maybe in Ham Radio. It's great. They just have a ball here. And we would love to help them get on the air. We do test questions here and try and help people to pass their tests. That's really important. The second thing is, if you hit the bell icon, you'll know when we go live, you can take part in the chat and we can make it a conversation. The whole idea of this program, just to understand, it sounds very different than most shows do. And the reason why is it's designed to. This is really designed to sound more like a radio show. It's designed to be listened to. And to me, that's one of the greatest gifts that I can try and put together for anybody, that they can put the phone down, not have to worry about hitting a skip ad button and listen. That's the whole point. And I've got to tell you, I want to share with you a photo I received today that just, man, it was one of those photos that truly made me so thrilled because it's exactly, it hit, it hit the spot of exactly what the channel's about. It's to be listened to. And hopefully enjoyed with some visual cues as well. Welcome to the program. I really mean that. Thanks for all the thumbs up. My goodness, you honor me. Thank you. I want to especially thank Helik in Israel and Hari in the UAE. Tried to get on a little earlier today so we could make it hopefully a little usable for you guys. Um, when I talked about the channel being used visually, but you know more from an audio standpoint, right? Here's why. Great picture that came from the UAE. This is Hari. Hari is a ham who's from India. He's a guy who has really just become a good friend. He's a nice guy. Think the world of him. And Hari actually listens to the shows while he exercises him, him on his exercise machine. And he's got his iPad there and he's just kind of having a good time and he's listening. And Hari, you honor me beyond belief. Thank you so much for just writing out, reaching out to me and, you know, doing it. His call sign is Victor Union 2, Tango, Germany. It's also uh, Alpha 6, 5, Golf, Romeo, and November, Alpha 1, Radio Hotel. That's, uh, that's Hare Krishan Nair from India, but now in UAE. What an honor. It's him just watching the Geocron show. That was the moment where it hit me, where it was like, it works. It, people are people are getting the point. It really is about listening. And, and there'll be some visual cues always, and we'll try and always do that for you. But it's a conversation. It's a family. And this show is going to be one of my favorites because it includes content from some of the people who watch this channel and the content that they have on their YouTube channels. I hope you like it. Welcome to my friend Ray. From Northern California. Look at that call sign. That's cool. Kilo November 6th, Ray. You know he's got the good call sign there. Look at this. From Spain. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Wow. Johan Amigo from Barcelona. This is an honor. Thank you. I mean that. Alexander from UK. Thank you. Yeah, we had a little... Just one, just one U, U, XLR kind of popped down there. Greg, do more test questions. We will be. We will be. I promise. Later today, I have to get my brother in for some work for his cancer treatment. But after that, we'll come back with show number two. I want to talk to you about a few things. First of all, we're going to have some channel content from other channels, from folks that watch the show. I really want to share that because there's some great folks that watch this show that honor me tremendously who do some amazing things. Wait till you see it. It's amazing. I'm going to talk quickly about building your own vertical antenna. Now, the first one I'd recommend to you is Callum McCormick's DX Commander, all band vertical. If you want the nebula, terrific. Just understand it's 58 feet tall. Check with your local city ordinance for antenna height before you put it up. It's going to make a difference because I guarantee it, your neighbors, if you live in a subdivision, they see a 58-foot stick going up, it's going to concern them. So make sure you're legal, okay? 
The DX Command are all band verticals perfect. It's only 30 feet high. It's brilliant, well made, has all the stuff you need to make any vertic sorry, any multi-band vertical you want. It's brilliant. But say you don't have that much money. You just don't. Okay. You can go out and buy an MFJ adjustable mast, build a great mono band, or you can tweak it, make it a multi-band vertical. What you'll need is the adjustable mast. You'll need to buy a couple of pieces of aluminum, cut them into a circle, drill eight holes for your ground radials. Eight. Then you'll need one connector for your coax. You're going to connect your coaxial cable in a way that's essentially going to go into your aluminum here. You're going to screw it down to your piece of aluminum so it's tight. Okay, now you've got your SO239 here, and the rest of it is connected in. You're going to have your ground radial here. You're going to have your vertical elements there. Now, multibanding it is simple. The second round aluminum you make, you just hook it there. Okay, you're going to hook it to that second radial plate. Then you cut your ground, your, your radials for your antennas, whatever frequencies you want to work. Let me give you an example, okay? Again, this piece you can buy from High Gain. It's simple. And the dogs are barking because we probably have another delivery from somebody else who's late with their Christmas stuff. And away they go. So, and my brother's asleep, so I'm here solo, and I'm going to stay with all of you guys, and they're going to finally stop. This plugs into your SO239. Again, this is your vertical element. This is your, your uh, ground radials. Use eight, but use it for the top band you're going to be using for the antenna. For example, if you're going to go 40 meters, okay, that's the longest element. Run your ground radials for 40. Seriously, run eight. Run eight ground rails for 40. Just one moment. I'm going to hit the hit this mute button just a second. Thank you. All right. So we're going to have them stop now. So your ground radials go here. You're going to hook them up in eight places. They're going to make a circle. All right. So it looks like this. If this is your, your vertical piece going up, okay, your antenna's at the top. All right. If you want to multiband it, you'll be surprised because your verticals are going to be at different lengths. That's why I recommend Cal's antenna. It's already built for that. It's brilliant. So if you build Cal's antenna, you already have the adjustable mast. You already have brilliant ground radio plate, a brilliant, uh, sorry, driven plate. Couldn't think of the word. And you already have the extendable mast pieces that are going to keep the radials separate. It's perfect. That's what I love about the DX Commander All Bander. It's great. You can put any antenna you want on this and then tune it to resonance. That's important. You're going to spend a little time doing that. For example, mine took a little tweaking. Keep in mind, each one of these radials is set for the middle of the 40 meter band in the United States. It's different for UK. UK is between 7.1 and 7.2. So you're going to take the formula of two, well, it's metric, but my point is in the US, I did it for 7.225, all right? So it's 32.4 feet for each radial and for the element going up the mast, okay? That is roughly 9.873 meters, okay? That's again for 7.225. But here's the brilliance of it. You don't go above 1.5 anywhere on 40 meters, anywhere. That means you don't need a tuner, means you can use a solid state tuner. I started to say amplifier, I mean, you don't need extra stuff to make it work because it's already resonant. You just need to take an antenna analyzer to it, trim it the right way until you get that reading down. You want it below 7.2, ideally. If you can get to the seven point, sorry, the one point two. If you want the one point zeros, you're brilliant. Just make a sweep up the frequency and make sure. My target was for US seven point two two five. Dividing it two thirty four divided by my target frequency of seven point two two five. There's my plate. There it is. My my radial cuts thirty two point four feet. There are eight of them. That's nine point eight seven three meters. Each one of these ground radials 
are 32.4 feet long. You might be saying, well, I don't have a big enough garden to make it work. It's okay. You don't need them to be perfectly straight. Mine aren't because I don't have that big of a yard. I strung them out as straight as I could, then bent them, put a rock over the top of them. They're good. No problem. Cut the vertical element for it. Same same thing, 32.4 feet. Cal's antenna is brilliant because with the carabiners, it helps to be able to keep it straight without sagging. It's really a great design. I can't speak more highly of Cal's antenna. You can build your own multi-band vertical yourself with a lot of PVC and cut your and your aluminum out. Just make sure you use stainless steel or aluminum. You don't want to use anything that's going to rust. That's the most important part, okay? If you want a multi-band, you can do it exactly this way. You go to 32.4 feet ground radials. That'll be your 40-meter band. Then you go to your 20. If you want 20 meters on there as well, you can add 20. Here's my measurement for 20 meters using this. It's 1.08. Little trimming, right? 17 meters finally came together. Yesterday we got it all done. 17 meters, 1.07. Again, I'm only using 40 meter ground radials here. That's all I'm using. And then I'm using the elements cut to size. Okay. You can use, again, an MFJ adjustable mast. Make the adjustments yourself with, with each radial. Make a monobander simple. Uh, wow, the 1908 flagpole antenna is perfect for that. But CALS is already set up for multiband. I, I would recommend that because it's just easier to use, especially because the way the ground radials are made and the driven elements made. He threads each one of those, provides all the hardware, and provides the wire. The wire is much better than you see with other antennas. But it's easy to do. It's so easy to do. When you do it this way and you set each element to the correct length, measure it through with an antenna analyzer, do your sweep, make sure that the entire band is good, you're finished. You hook up your SO239 to your antenna switch or your radio. And you've got yourself a resonant antenna. You don't need a tuner. You don't. It's just it's overkill. You don't need the tuner at all because your antenna is resonant enough that's going to carry that full load of your radio out to the world. And it's not that expensive. I think Cal's antenna is like 250 plus shipping right now. It's a really good buy considering you already get the driven and, ra and radial elements. They're threaded. You already get the measured plastic. And those, those plastic pieces are thick. They're not just flimsy little pieces of plastic to keep your, your, your vertical radials up. No, he uses really thick stuff. And the quality of his mast is good. If you want it in a permanent location, make sure that you use radiator clamps. You'll need more of them than what he supplies. Just clamp each section below the next one going up. Clamp it good and tight. Use his apply, you know, he supplies aquarium tube for it so you don't scratch the mast up. It's brilliant. You can make your own if you're one of those people that likes to just kind of go to the home improvement store and buy PVC pipe, get it up in the air, but at least 30 feet up. That's important. It is. My goodness. Here is Hari. Hari made it, man. That's awesome. Hari, welcome from the UAE. Man, it's good to see you. This is Hari. This is the guy that, that um, sent me such a nice email that had a picture of him working out with the iPad. Gosh, that just made my day. You, Hari, you made my day. And look at, here's one. I'm only a shortwave listener. My call sign is Echo Alpha 3301SWL. I started with SWL. In fact, hold on, Johan, hold on. Hold on. When I got into ham radio, I had to sell all my shortwave stuff. You'll know this radio. This is the 2010, but outside of the U.S., it's the 2001D. Best portable shortwave receiver ever. When I saw this, after I opened it, I cried. I did because I got it back. I love shortwave stuff. That's where I started 47 years worth, and I still do it. Oh, it's a great hobby. Not so many stations anymore, but still good. Look at this. Steve is here from the UK. Golf, awesome, sorry, Golf Zero, Lima, Quebec, Papa. Steve, what an honor to meet you from London. I am so excited to make QSO back to the UK. I've got to get that antenna up. I'm working on a directional. It's been one thing after another. Got Greg, can it be built next to a house? Do you recommend it far away? 
as far away as you can. As far away from structures as you can, Greg, the better, because it radiates. Everything's omnidirectional. And truly, the whole the whole wire radiates. Try and get it away from structures. Fences are different, but, you know, houses, garages, yeah, I would try and get it away from it if you can. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, the 2010 2001 Export D model is great. It's so well known. They made it about 23 years. It's a great radio. Look at this. France is here too. Oh, man. Wow. I I can't believe I'm able to do this and and meet so many wonderful people from around the world. That's my greatest joy. It really you need to know that. I think about that often that I am that blessed to meet people from all over the world doing this. It has become such a joy, much more than I ever expected, truly. Look at look at all the comments. I got to look at all these. Martin's here from the Netherlands. Triple L listen, look, learn. Yes. Yeah. This show is designed to be listened to. It is. It's designed. That's why it sounds the way it does. It sounds more like a radio show. It's set up to be listened to. Yeah, there'll be visual cues always, but you don't have to worry about two things. You don't have to worry about that stupid skip ad button with a commercial popping into the middle of it. And the second thing is you'll be able to hopefully just follow along without having to have your phone right in front of you. That's the whole point. So this is my joy. Wow, Hari's here. That's so cool. I'm just so happy. From all over the world, look, Dick, that is Foxtrot 8, Whiskey Bravo Delta. Adam's here, home brewed to DX Commander myself. Used 31-foot fiberglass pole from Amazon. Built my own. Yes, there you go. And stock aluminum. Yep, that's exactly how you do it. Here's some cuts for you. By the way, Steven's here from the UK as well. Welcome back, Stephen. It's an honor and a privilege. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. All right. Cuts for U.S. folks. I know it's different, all right, in the U.K. and around the world. We just can't get to the metric system here for some reason. I get it. I get it. But here's measurements for you in the U.S. 12.9 feet for 17 meters. That's the length of your radiating element, 12.9. You can trim from there. But that's with a target frequency of 18.138, all right? That's right in the middle of the phone band for 17 meters. If you're on 20, right in the middle of the phone band for the U.S. is 14.225. Length of your cut should be about 16.449 or basically about 16.5 inches. Cut it there. You can always trim it. That's the best way to look at it. If you're on 40 and you want to build the antenna, not only will your ground radials be this long, but your one vertical driven element is as well. It is 32.38 feet. I cut mine at 32.4, and I trimmed from there. I just literally slowly trimmed it down till I got down below 1.0 to 1. That's it. So make your own. Use 4 to 8 ground radials. Make them as long as the longest frequency band you're going to use. You'll love it. You'll ru- It really works. Without a tuner, without having to deal with anything else, you'll have a resonant antenna that not only hears better, but transmits better, and it works better. It'll be great. And because, like, Callum uses great antenna wire. He's like 14-gauge wire. Solid wire. Cold weather, snow, ice is going to last. Try and use 14-gauge, 12-gauge, something like that. It's going to be a little stout, but it's going to save you too in the long run because it's going to last. That's the most important part. Sean's heartily, I do enjoy not having to hit the skip ad button. Thanks to the show. Quite just Thank you, Sean. I mean that. Promise we will be doing some more test questions today, focusing on technician in general. We're really going to work hard on that the rest of the week. I really want to work hard on those. So I promise they're coming. But before we do that, we've been in the show now for about 20 minutes, and I just wanted to share some wonderful content from people who watch this channel. And I'm going to do this from time to time. I am not a proud guy. I just am not that guy. I, you know, negative comments don't bother me. I'm like a duck. It waters off my, just water off my back, whatever. I just don't take myself seriously, but I love radio and I love sharing my love and knowledge for radio that I've had for almost 50 years. 
This is my joy, and it's my joy to share it with you without monetization. Hitting the skip, the uh, sub subscribe button means so much to me. If you would do that, you would honor me. The thing that honors me most is when I receive these emails from all over the world, it means everything to me. So to my friend, uh, seriously, Hari in UAE and Helik in Israel, and my goodness, Dick in France and Steve in UK, you guys all mean the world to me. You honor me by coming. Let me share some stuff from people from the channel. We're going to start with a guy that's from here in Oregon. He runs by the channel name Fast Enough Garage. Now, this is the one that's not going to be ham radio, okay? It's not going to be a ham radio type thing. This is something that's going to be more about his passion, which is cars. He's got a really cool Camaro with a good souped up engine, and it sounds great. So, this is from Fast Enough Garage, one of the people from our channel that watches. And again, we're going to do this every week where we're going to go into someone else's channels and we're going to share some of their passions. Here's Fast Enough Garage. Check out. Ah, overpass, my favorite. It's a Camaro ZL1. It's, I think it's the fifth generation. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the garage. If it's your first time here, when you get done with the video, check out my other videos. I have a lot of content on this car and some of the builds that took place. So you might want to check that out. Also, consider... Some and that is Fast Enough Garage. Some of the comes to the channel and we're honored that he's here. I mean, it's cool and it's neat to be able to share his passion. It really is. So that's him and what he does. Now, there's somebody else who's really cool. This is a gentleman whose name is Robbie. He's in Ireland. His call sign is Echo India 2 India Papa. Now, Robbie's great. He's an excellent guitarist, first of all. He's great. <laughs> Look at Robbie. This is him playing guitar. And this is how talented he is. Let me show with you Robbie's stuff. Here's one. This is Robbie playing an electric guitar. That's Echo India 2, India Papa right there from Ireland. Pretty cool stuff. So there's Robbie, but he's not only into guitar, he also follows the International Space Station. He watches it as it's coming close to Ireland within signal range, and he does something really cool that not many hams do. Robbie is into slow scan television. Did you know the ISS does this? Personally, I didn't. Robbie did. Take a look at Robbie with the ISS and all he's able to see, you'll see a little square where you'll see pictures coming in from space. Check this out. This is really, really cool. There's Robbie's gear. It's through an ICOM rig. Let me get off the screen so you can see everything. The pictures coming in are in the center, and then they they stack up on the lower right. Each one of those squares is a photo that comes from space. You can see the one coming in right there in the middle as it's scanning from left to right. Look at that. And then it goes on to the right side there in a the box. See? That's it. That's what Robbie does. It's pretty cool stuff. That's Robbie. India, sorry, Echo India 2, India Papa. Great stuff. Robbie is really skilled. So if you are ever interested in that, talk to Robbie. He'll tell you how to set everything up. I'm sure he'd be thrilled to. Robbie, call sign, Echo India 2, India Papa. There's a very special friend that's here that I think the world of. He's in Wiesbaden, Germany. You've heard me mention him many times. His name is Gunter. Gunter, we have a common interest. Gunter and I love DX. Now, 
Norm, I'm glad you're here. Norm is here. Look, oh, Savvy's here. Whiskey One, Sierra Alpha Victor. Welcome, Savvy. Good to see you, buddy. Adam here. That's good. Yep. Adam knows about it. And for Norm, I'm looking for, look at this. Dick, Dick I'm so glad you're here. It, from France. First time ever. Hari, wow. So glad you're here. Let me look up in the comments because I know Norm was here. Let me see Norm. Is he here? I don't see him. I'm sure he's here. Norm, you asked about the 7300 and it's DX. Okay. Now, you guys know that I've sold the 101 and I'm waiting for the K4 to arrive. Okay. So still, it's still not here. Here's the 7300. Not a bad radio. Now, this is really important. When you have one of these, the important thing is you got to hear the signal, right? That's really big. Transmitting, you can always do. You can always transmit. It's got an excellent transmitter in it, but you got to hear it. Now, Robbie's listening off of a G5 RV antenna, not a directional, not some special vertical. He's using a multiband wire. Look at what Gunter does with a 7300. It will blow your mind. Delta Kilo 5, go ahead. A very good morning, Delta Kilo 5, Ontario, Nancy, Victoria. Back to you. Okay, Delta Kilo 5, Oscar, Norway, Victoria. Current, uh, you are 5 by 9, 59, over. Thank you very much, Rick. Thank you very much. You're also 59 and over 9, uh, sometimes uh, plus 10 dB here. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much for the call and stay safe. DK5 ONV. Roger, it's a beautiful signal. Thanks uh, for the contact, 73, and Merry Christmas. Thank you very much, 73s, and stay safe. That's Gunter. Now, there's one more. I want to share one more of Gunter because he's so good at what he does. Gunter really hunts strong on 40 and 80 and 160, and the calls he makes are great. Again, G5 RV. So folks that, you know, might think, well, I don't want to compromise antenna. G5 RV is kind of common. Been around since the 40s. Oh, no, no. That's a great antenna. And don't think for a moment. Let me change cameras again. Sorry. Don't think for a moment that the G5 RV is a terrible antenna. It's not. It's a great antenna. Here's proof of it. Here's Gunter using a G5 RV with his first QSO to a very special island. Check this out. Thank you very much, Paul. You're also a 59, a, a, a 55, a 56, a 55, 56 here with me. Um, my name is Günther, Golf Uniform, November Tango, Echo Romeo. My name is Günther and you can find also my information on uh, QRZ.com, uh, uh, Paul. Uh, Victor Papa 9, November Radio, DK5 ONV. Thank you very much, Paul. Also, Merry Christmas to you and your family. I hope uh, you have a peaceful time there and uh, the pandemic will not drive you too crazy there. And I hope uh, every everyone has a, has a great time. Stay safe. Thank you very much for the contact. I uh, did a, um, a quick uh, uh, YouTube video. I will, be, uh, I will load uh, that up in the next uh, 30 minutes, uh, maybe. You can find my uh, YouTube channel via typing my call sign into the search bar. You will be forwarded to my, uh, to my YouTube channel, uh, Paul. Um, the, the station information here is uh, ICOM 7300 with a uh, hands microphone by Bob Heil. It's called uh, Hotel Mexico Mexico. It's not a studio microphone, no 8-band EQ voodoo audio. The antenna is a full-size G5 RV in 49 foot from the ground. And uh, at the moment I'm doing some hocus pocus about 800 watts from an Alpha 91 uh, Boston, uh, Paul. Victor Papa 9, November Radio, Delta Kilo 5, Oscar November Victor, back to you.
Well, that is doing a very, very fine job, Paul. You're doing a great job uh, over the pond, and uh, that sounds good here in uh, my uh, in my speaker, uh, Paul. Merry, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, stay safe, and I'm looking forward to talk to you again. VP9NR, DK5, ONV, waving a hand into Bermuda. That's Gunter. That's Gunter in Wiesbaden. What he likes to do. Hams from all over the world have their own passions and they have their own gifts. One of the greatest joys of doing this channel is getting to know them and seeing how good they are at what they do. We can all learn from each other. And I'll be honest, nobody has all the answers. If they do, I think they're arrogant. They really are because no one has all the answers. We can all pick up skills from other people and we can always learn. We can always learn. That's what this is. It's a learning hobby. So a great comment from Lee Rickelli here I want to share. This is from Whiskey Alpha 8, Romeo November Bravo. G5 RV and off-center fed dipoles and Wyndham's are all good antennas that have been around for a long time. Remember, and here's the big caveat. He says, remember, all antennas work. Some just work better than others. I would say the number one thing that can help you with your antenna, no matter what it is, if it's a monoband, if it's a multiband, if it's a dipole, you know, vertical, whatever, get it up high. The highest you can get it, the better it works. Antennas just seem to do much better high because they have a lower takeoff angle down the horizon than they will if they're lower. So find a way to get it up high, at least 30 feet. And from there, higher, you're going to be thrilled. That'd be roughly, what, nine and a half meters? So that'll help you really well. That's hams from around the world. We are grateful that they follow the channel and are such a part of this channel. They're such a part of this family. Thank you. And it all came because of a wonderful email that came from the UAE from a man named Hari. That's where it all started. The whole inspiration for the show was that. I wanted it to really be as much about all of you as it was about anything I had to say. Because this show is really about ham radio, the fun we have, the passion we all share, and the kindness we share with each other. That last QSO that Gunter had with the ham in Bermuda, that's his first QSO to Bermuda, and that's from Germany. On an ICOM 7300, Norm, that's a good radio. If you guys that have them, it's a good radio. I, I don't, you know, people have their own opinions about radios, but at the end of the day, the radio you use and you love is the radio that is for you. And that's the truth. Folks, we're going to cut it short. We're going to do a show next on the technician and general questions. Plus, we're going to be doing a review of not only the product, but how it goes together. It's the MFJ 1708 SDR. How you can get your 7300 or maybe your Yaesu 5000 onto a pen adapter screen. You'll love it. You'll be able to get it onto a big screen and enjoy it. Plus, you get an extra receiver out of it, too. Makes it nice. Join us for that. That'll be on Ham Radio number 109. Until then, this is my honor and privilege to spend this time with all of you. Thank you for sharing your day with me. My name's Larry. My call sign's Kilo 7 Hotel November from around the world. I thank you profoundly. God bless you and goodbye, everybody.